Hey, that's why Jeremiah said what he said. Go ahead up. And they have none understanding. None understanding, man. You don't understand shit. You don't understand that there's no uh, uh, physical place called hell with a devil with a pitchfork. You don't understand that the kingdom of heaven is going to be here on earth. That people are not going to be walking around on clouds. None understand it. Go ahead. They are wise to do evil. Right, wise to do evil. Our people have figured out all the ways to be evil as possible, man. Go ahead. But to do good, they have no, no, no knowledge. Right, and to do good is to do what? To keep the law, statutes, and commandments of our power, man. But you, you have no knowledge of that. And we'll tell you, but you'll say, nah, the law's been done away with. Right. Nah, God love everybody. Nah, he's just not dealing with these people. He's dealing with it. Nah. You have no knowledge, man. Why? And it's written in the scripture plain. But we understand it, though. It's not for everybody, and everybody's not going to understand it. Go ahead, out. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 14. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. Right. So we're not praying for the, everybody on this, on this sign, man. This is just an indicator to let you know who the Israelites are. But the scriptures tell us that there's an election of this people. So the Most High is telling us not to play, not to pray for you wicked ass niggas, man. Go ahead, out. Neither lift up a cry or pray for them. Right. Lift up a cry, nor because we know what we're coming into. We're coming into Jacob's trouble, man. And you people gonna be put to death by the droves. And that's the Lord letting us, hey, don't cry, don't lift up a prayer, none of that shit for these people. And trust me, we in that spirit. We don't give a fuck. Brother, sister, mother, cousin, auntie, uncle, we don't give a fuck. If you're not doing the will of the Father, whatever happens to you, that's on you, man. Go ahead up. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. Yeah, so like we were saying earlier, your prayer be an abomination to the Lord when that time of Jacob's trouble come the Lord will not hear you when that time that you crying out because that's all y'all niggas gonna be doing crying out because y'all have a zeal but not according to knowledge but your zeal doesn't mean nothing because it's not according to knowledge the Lord said you destroy for a lack of knowledge right. the Lord gonna destroy y'all because y'all lack of knowledge so when that time of trouble come when they knocking down doors and take you to concentration camps and, and starving you people and murdering you people left and right, the Lord is not going to hear you. Because y'all know y'all don't want to hear the words of the Lord right now. It's no excuse. You got brothers out in, in every major city, damn now. In every major city, over to London, you got brothers in, in different countries coming into this troop and out there um, prophesying. Ain't no excuse. It done came up on your um, YouTube on the side. You, they don't um, scoff hey, brothers on bitches, world stars, so that was a chance for you to get into the truth to look into what these brothers talking about when they had the brothers from San Fran on world star. So it ain't no excuse. Everybody got a little brother, a little cousin, or somebody who who know they're Israelite. So ain't no excuse. So when that time come that the Lord putting destruction on you damn people, the Lord's not gonna hear you at all. Y'all gonna be out here left left out here butt naked. Because the Lord told y'all, so he tells you in Revelation 16 and 15 to keep your garments. Lest you be found naked. He come as a thief in the night. And everybody done heard that phrase. Since they've been born, he gonna come like a thief in the night. Because y'all walk around like y'all don't know that. The Lord gonna get y'all ass. He ain't gonna be nothing, no, nobody to save you. Why? Because two-thirds has to die and it's written. Right. Two-thirds has to die. That's right. Let me, let me speak for this brother. He's not mad that you people don't get it. No, just speaking with passion. Scriptures tell us that y'all not gonna get it. You're gonna be destroyed. He's just showing you that how simple it is. Cause this is our garment. Say that you don't be found naked. This is this is what caused you to be naked. Not having this understanding. And the, 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 the truth and the irony behind it is, like I said earlier, you can go to Family Dollar and get one for two dollars, man. So the Most High is going to be blameless when he fuck you and your whole family up, man. Plain and simple. One more thing. It ain't like everybody has to be the Albert Einstein or the Bible. You ain't got to be the most 
spiritual. Everybody ain't got to be that. You just got to believe in these words and or accept the prophet in the name of a prophet. But you people won't even do that. Yeah, really. All you got to do is believe in your house, I really. That's that. You got to believe in your house, I repent from your, from your evil deeds, man. And the most high will, will uh, follow through, man, if you're part of that elect. You know, that's what that's what it's about, man. You don't gotta be, you don't gotta be a Bible scholar, man. Satan is a Bible scholar, man. Uh, okay. Esau is a Bible scholar. He become wiser than day. Exactly, man. So it's, it's not that's not what it's about, man. Because the scriptures say, not many wise and noble after the flesh are called, man. But God, but, uh, the Most High have called the weak and base things of the world to be found the things that are mighty, man. Uh, so you are gonna have brothers. Uh, if you're not a Bible scholar, that's okay, man. But if the Most High is dealing with you, he's gonna deliver you. Um, because you believe in him over somebody somebody who's been studying the Bible since they was uh, three years old, man. Their whole life, man. Why? Because they don't believe, man, but you believe, man. Come on, perfect example. All these brothers out here right now, we above Nate. And Nate been in this truth years. We above him. Why? Because we believe in the prophecies. We believe in the name. We, we proclaim the name. We tell about the mark of the beast. So we above him. That, it don't matter about how many years. Like you said, yeah, uh, Nate is a Bible scholar. Right. He know these precepts. Yeah, he do. He do. Yeah. But he ain't got the juice, man. He, he don't have. He ain't teaching the faith in the name, man. That's a pro, that's a big issue, man. The, uh, the, the main. That's the, that's the main. Come. The Yahweh Shai is the key. Is the chief cornerstone, Come. man. Come. Let me get this. It's Job chapter thirty-two, verse seven. I said, days should speak, and multitude of years should teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in man. Right, there's a spirit in man. And who give it the spirit? The most, the most high. high. So you can never bridle the, 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 the spirit, man. The most high dealing with that. But like the scripture said, there's a spirit in man. Go ahead. And the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Right, the inspiration of the most high, who you ignorantly call God, he giveth the inspiration, man. So it, it like the scriptures say, uh, not always are the, uh, the age, age wise. Wise, you know what I'm saying? Stand judgment. Right. That's not how. That's not how this works, man. Because the scriptures show us that the Most High was always dealing with the young men. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You had elders that knew the knowledge, but he was dealing with young men, man. Because the scriptures tell us you can't put new wine in the old bottle, man. And, and that's spiritual. Um, the, the scriptures say the, the inspiration coming from the Almighty, man, and He gives them understanding. When you go into that word inspiration, it, it goes back to the, if I'm correct, it's the Latin, which means in the spirit, man. So the Most High is the one who pours the spirit out upon you to give you the understanding, man. You know? So just because a man uh, like Nate, he, he'll say uh, because, he, uh, because he's been more, um, been, been in this longer, man. That doesn't mean that he can't get reproved by somebody who's younger than him, man, because he, he goes off to, you know? And that goes for all the brothers, man, from the least to the greatest. Uh, and, and, I, and I, like, I relish in that, because I'm, I'm the oldest one. But I, I learned so much from all these, all these brothers younger than me, but I learned so much from them. But if I was a wicked nigga and just took my age and like, oh, I'm older than y'all, you can't, nah. I wouldn't even be in the faith. But I had that understanding of that scripture, man. And the scriptures say, uh, if you do not make yourself as a little child, you cannot enter into the kingdom. Uh, so you got to make yourself as a, as a child, man. Right. It's saying the age thing, man. Because like in this in the, uh, instance with Job, he let he let the elders speak their peace, and then he came and spoke his peace. And he, was, he ended up being right. His, right. his understanding was a true understanding. Great, huh? This is 1 Timothy 4 and 12. Let no man despise thy youth. Right, let no man despise thy youth. Meaning, just because you're a young man, mean you don't understand the scriptures, because we just read that the Most High gives the inspiration. Right? But be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Yeah, man. Can't let no man despise Spies are in youth, because just like the brother said, he oldest, but he learned certain things from us. And just like Mark brought that scripture, man, most I put the spirit in man. Most I can put the spirit in, in, in a boy that just hit manhood, just uh, struck, uh, struck puberty, so to say, man. And he's more, he, he carries himself better than you, man. He knows that whatever 
altercation he get tossed in is the Lord, man. You know? Just because he, he's 12 and you 55, and he telling you, look, man, the other day I was going through this, and the only thing I could run through my head was this scripture, that scripture, and I know it was the Lord doing it to me. You can't be like, nah, man, shut up, you know what you're talking about, because he's younger than you, man. Just like you, just like Rob was bringing out that example with, uh, with Joe, man. The young man let, let all the elders speak first, man. He, and he was the one that had the most wisest counsel with, uh, amongst them all, man. Yes, sir. Just to prove that. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest out of, out, forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Right, so you got to understand how this works, man. The Most High already had his allotted prophets, man, since the beginning. So, for you to respect that, okay, a man has the spirit of the Most High, you don't know who that man is. These brothers could well, one of these brothers up here could be Jeremiah, Isaiah. So for me to, you know, act upon my age, I would re be rejecting the spirit of Isaiah or Jeremiah. So you got to understand that the Most High put the spirit and, and ordained a prophet before the beginning of time, man. So that lets you know it has nothing to do with age or years in the faith or years in the truth. It has nothing to do with it. Well, then said I, our Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Right, that's that inspiration. Right. Yeah, man, so that's the Lord, that's the Lord uh, give, giving you the understanding, man, giving you the, a mouth to speak, man, and to condemn, and, and, and to uh, build up, and to pluck, and to root up, and, and, and plant um, to, the, to the nations, man. That's, that's, that's uh, a calling from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. That's the gift of the Most High, man, so you can't, you can't, um, you can't be, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm young, you know, so I, I can't do this work. Nah, man, Jeremiah was a child when he did that, man. And the scriptures say, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hath the most high ordained strength, strength, man, because of the adversary, man. And who are the adversaries? The adversaries are so-called white man. The adversaries are the princes and rulers of this wicked ass people, the nation of Israel. Okay? So the most high has had young men to confound the wise, man. Okay? People will walk by here and look and see, oh, these young men, they don't know nothing about the Bible. That's another stumbling block. Go ahead, huh? It's good, cause the Lord, the Lord is, the Lord is, um, me and this brother right here talking about right now. The Lord is unorthodox, man. These people, these people expect the Lord to be orthodox. The Lord is unorthodox. He not gonna do what you think he gonna do. The Lord gonna do the normal, man. That's why you niggas can't understand how the Lord works, man. Hey, and, re and whether whether we young, we look too young to understand the scriptures. What we're doing is prophesying. We telling you, motherfuckers that the Most High is coming back to destroy this place. So that, that shouldn't have nothing to do with our age. We, we, hey, not only can we bring it out of scriptures, we can bring it in current events. We can show you through the, the uh, media that America is going to be destroyed soon. Right. That's what we come out here to proclaim. Not that we know the Bible and we, we, we're top scholars in Israel. No, we come out here to do the bidding of the Most High, which is to tell the people Destruction is amongst you. It's the days of you walking around and running your little laps and shit, that shit is over with, man. That's right. <laughs> the Most High is about to send that flood of troops in here, man. And all you people that don't have that covering of your how by Shim Yao Shai, you're going to be destroyed. That's right. We don't need a, a, a innumerable number of years in the faith to understand that. Right. That's what brought us into the faith, understanding that the Most High has an agenda. Right. And his agenda will be accomplished. Because it's been happening from Genesis to Revelation. That's basic knowledge.
you ask the average person up here, do they believe in, 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 in uh, Noah? Do they know the story of Noah or the story of Sodom and Gomorrah? And they'll say, yeah. But when it comes to these times, they, you know, what? Yeah, we don't have no understanding of that. And that's why the Most High sent his men out to tell you, yeah, just like, give me that, huh? just like in the days of uh, uh, Noah, they were eating and drinking. Alright, so um, just to add on what the brother was saying, so for y'all that don't think that the Bible is real, well this is corner prophecy. This is uh, from the Bloomberg News, Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev, we are in a new Cold War. It goes Give on. Give the date on that, uh. Oh, the date, this came out. Salakia. This came out February 13th, 2016. Yeah. February 13th, 2016. Hot off the press, baby. Right off the press. You can't even get it. It's the hot sign. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Todd. That number 13. Yep. Uh, 13, uh, yeah. Uh, right the day before that bitch ass holiday Valentine's Day, uh, man. Right and, before and, Heart Day. Yeah, before Blood Day. Uh, okay, so it goes on. This is Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev. We are in a new Cold War. Quote, in other signs of the tensions between Russia and the U.S. and its allies, Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev spoke of a new Cold War and the North Atlantic Treaty Organization Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg said Russia is using its nuclear arsenal to intimidate Europe. End quote. Quote, the political line of NATO toward Russia remains unfriendly and close, Dmitry Medvedev said told the Munich conference, quote, it can be said more sharply, we have slid into a time of a new Cold War, end quote. So right there, you have the fucking, these politicians, who you people look up to worship, um, stating that we in a new Cold War. And can I add one more thing? Um, now this just came out for, um, Yesterday, from 21st Century Wire, it says Russia has destroyed the CIA's armed smuggling operation in Syria. So what is that saying? Technically, Russia and America are at a war with each other in proxy wars on the low low. Okay? Now this is coming off the press. Quote, for the last three years, the CIA has been smuggling arms into Syria via tech Turkey using the Azaz Corridor, and without it, they have no leverage over Assad or the Russians, because Russia's now bombing that shit, okay? So if you want to say technically, Russia and America are attacking each other on the low low. So. Right, and that's gonna culminate into World War III, which is gonna culminate to a worldwide disaster, which is gonna culminate into America being destroyed by a thermonuclear fire, man. Right. And we can bring that out of the scriptures. But we just show, we just connecting the dots, man. This shit is plain. But it's plain to those that it's for. Go ahead up. Joel, Joel 3 and 10. Beat your plowshares into swords. Right, your plowshares mean our farming instruments. So the scripture saying what? Beat your plowshares into swords. Right, so that means it's time to go to war. All that, because the plowshares represent farming, meaning creating agriculture and getting money. So it's say, nah, because the scriptures tell us what? It's a time and season for everything. So the scriptures tell you, beat them plowshares and the instruments, meaning swords, man. It's time to go to war. Go ahead. And your pruning hooks into spears. Right, your pruning hooks into spears. Go ahead. Let the weak say, I am strong. Right, and a lot of these nations that's bucking up against America are weak nations. Like Iran, uh, uh, who, who else? Libya. Um, Uh, North Korea, that shit ain't big. That shit the size, less uh, uh, the size of Florida. Right, right. But they threatening America. Right. Really, really, when you go into it, really, when you go into it, all these, really, when you go into it, all these other nations, because America was once the biggest superpower, man. Right. Right. And the scriptures say, the scriptures first say, um, beat your, beat your plowshares into uh, swords, man, and your, and your, uh, and your pruning hooks, right? And it says, 
just let the weak say I'm strong, man. So it's letting me know that these agricultural, weak, small nations are getting ready to uh, to go to war, man. That's right. And that's what you see going on in the news, man. Yep. You know why they're saying they're strong? Because they have nuclear capability. Yep. Exactly. Everybody's got the big boy toy now, and that's nuclear bombs, man, ICBMs. That's right. That's Matthew, 20, Matthew 24, uh, verse 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall never pass away. And that, that's going into the nuclear destruction, man. Because the scriptures say, um, heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll, man. And in 2 and, and Peter, it talks about how the earth and the works thereof uh, shall be burnt up, man. So that's talking about the, the, uh, the end, man. Prophesied 2,000 years ago. Right. But it's happening now, man. It's, about, it's getting ready to happen. And that, that concept alone is one of the main reasons we believe. Because this was, pro like he said, this was prophesied 2,000 years ago. And we're living in that time. We're seeing this in the news. We're seeing it manifest, man. Right. 